I don't want to buy the call. And maybe I don't, frankly. Day of the Dead is on Saturday, and you can enter the rosy cult of the deadhead. We uh, help you along with that with reports all day long, starting 9 of the noon in Eastern Time, 9 a.m. Pacific. We wind up with a, with a special half hour called uh, Dead On, The Grateful Dead, Alive in the 1980s at 10.30 in the Eastern Time, 7.30 Pacific, where you can just get deaded out. I think you can dead out. Uh, we have this great new contest here at uh, MTV where you can win a trip to Egypt and Israel with Tom Petty and then go see him play with the Heartbreakers uh, in a concert and get free tickets to the concert even. How do you enter? And what, what even is going on? <laughs> well, details will come in a while. I don't know when, just whenever the mood strikes. I've been kind of, I've been kind of moody of late. I've been, I'm going to stop drinking so much NutraSweet. We're going to have Prince, and we're going to have John Astley, and we're going to have Richard Marks, and then what? More and more and more. It's 24 hours a day, so come on. Peter Gabriel's Sledgehammer was the number one video on MTV's 1986 year-end countdown, and it won Britain's BPI Award for Best Video. So it's no surprise that Sledgehammer is the top nominated clip at this year's MTV Video Music Awards. No big surprise. The nominees were announced this morning at separate press conferences in both New York and Los Angeles. And they said the same for both. And the Sledgehammer was named in nine categories. Gabriel led all the other artists with a total of 11, 11 nominations. It was followed by Madonna and U2 and Genesis with only six each. So he's kind of got it. Awards will be voted on in 16 categories, including this brand new category, just fresh for this year, the best new video from a film. On the other side of the news, Madonna says that her husband, Sean Penn, will have to be either, quote, a pacifist or a Buddhist, unquote, to put up with the kind of baiting that he's sure to get in jail. He'll spend the next few weeks in Bridgeport, California's Mono County Jail. And according to a spokesman, it's not a minimum security country club, as some reports have said. Reports have said. Penn has to be up at 7 a.m. and then back in bed by 10 p.m., and he's confined to a cell for the rest of the time with no radio allowed, and the only recreation at the 12-room minimum security prison is watching two local TV channels. And he only punched a guy. Still, the spokesperson says that so far, Penn has been cooperative and, quote, very nice. And why not? There's no cameras allowed inside. Meanwhile, you got to wonder what'll happen if certain pages from the September issue of Penthouse find a way into some of those cell walls inside that prison there. The issue, which just went on sale, has a new batch of ma nude Madonna pictures. Well, they're uncredited and undated. They were obviously taken way before she became America's most famous platinum blonde. The same issue also includes an interview with the Beastie Boys who touch on topics like their upper middle class upbringings, their start as a punk rock band, and how they all lost their virginity and what they like to put under their pillows. If you read it very carefully, you'll find out those things. We're going to have four in a row. We're going to have Bob Seger and the ABC are going to be there all in this little packet. And now we're going to have White Snake with Here I Go Again, and they're going to be performing at uh, the VMAs. And his, uh, David Coverdale was there at announcing things at the press conference that we were telling about earlier, and so was his girlfriend, Tawny, lovely woman, his girlfriend, Tawny. Let's take a look. Look very closely at Tawny in this video. Just, just really watch Tawny in this one. Take a look at Tawny. Take a snapshot and show you. How to do this is Kevin Seal. This hour you're going to get ABC and Suzanne Vega and Stevie Ray Vaughan and the rest of four in a row with Bob Seeger. <laughs> a Saturday Night by Jeff Paris, who's written a lot of songs for people like the Pointer Sisters and all kinds of people who don't sound a thing like he sings like. But that's, I think, the direction that he was wanting to go for a long time now, and so he's very pleased. The Basement Tapes competition is uh, when you can see tonight, when you can see these various videos by various young artists that don't have a career yet, really, and then you can decide to make one of them a king and the other poppers, just by calling up this little 50 cent 900 number. Tonight, midnight in Eastern Time Zone, 9 p.m. Pacific. It's brought to you by Budweiser, so you know it's cool. Suzanne Vega and Tapao and Steve Rivon and Dick Dale. Steve Rivon and Dick Dale, this is from uh, this, the new uh, beach movie, Back to the Beach. Uh, you can see Gilligan and uh, the Skipper in this one. <laughs> it's, it's all right. It's, you can like those people. It's, it's okay now.